What is going on, Steelers Nation? And I really didn't want to make this video, but doing it anyway. Steelers, Steelers, Steelers. I am sick and tired of them playing down to the opponent. Every team that they should beat, they lose. I don't understand. It's like you should be dominating these guys. Steelers played in Miami and lose 30 to 15. This is the second time that this has happened where they just pick apart our defense. And this is this was a game that we needed to win because next week we have the Patriots at home. So we needed this win. And, of course, it's not a Steelers season without Big Ben getting hurt. And Landry Jones fucking it all up. Even though he didn't do much, but... If he was there a lot, he was. If he was there in a lot more time, he would have fucked it up. I mean, the coaching staff was terrible. Players were terrible. Everything was just bad. Who throws a ball with a backup QB like Jones on 31 when you have Bell who averages five yards a fucking carry? I don't understand. Honestly, after this season, I think I think Todd Haley, Mike Tomlin, and Keith Butler, Butler needs to go, honestly, in my opinion, because this shit keeps happening all the time, and it shouldn't be happening. You don't see the Patriots lose like this on a fucking regular basis on every fucking year. It's like... I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Big Ben had like 175 yards, two picks, and a touchdown. Garbage, garbage touchdown. Um, Tony O'Brown was fucking dead silent, like three catches for 35 yards. Uh, Darius Hayward Bay had like 70. He had 60 yards for. One touchdown. Le'Veon Bell had more fucking receiving okay. yards than... 204 um, yards. Was it really that fuck easy? off. Le'Veon <laughs> Bell had more fucking yards than uh, AB. It's just abysmal. That's all you can say is abysmal. Like... Well, we are four and two. We still lead the division, but fuck, man. This, these are the kinds of these are the kind of kinds of games that you need to win. If you are a Super Bowl contender, you have to win these games because the season's still long, and we can't afford many losses. So I just it baffles me how you. Put a passing play on third and one when you have Le'Veon Bell, D'Angelo Williams, Antonio Brown for that matter. It, just, it doesn't make sense. Um, fuck, dude. They had like a total of like... Ryan Tannehill passed for like 252 and then... They let this, they let a guy run for two hundred and four yards and two touchdowns. I know you're not watching this, but fuck, Mike Tomlin, wake the fuck up and realize that your play calling is bullshit. Todd Haley, your play calling is bullshit. Keith Butler. You need to get your fucking secondaries to stop playing all fucking 10 yards off the receiver. It's the reason why we have, like, what, no picks? It does not make sense. Clearly, if it's not fucking working, you need to fucking change. Like, and Jones should not have a job right now, honestly. 
he's proved time and time again he cannot back up. Like, we have to draft a QB next next draft. We have to. A top five QB because Big Ben always gets hurt every fucking year. We all know this. We have to be prepared for when he doesn't play so we have a solid backup. Just like fucking Dallas with Dak Prescott. But he's probably going to be their starter. But it's like you have all these offensive weapons and a couple missing pieces in defense. But you put up 15 points. I don't know, man. Next game is Sunday against the fucking Patriots, and it's gonna, this shit is gonna suck, dude. We're probably gonna get our asses blown out, to be honest. I don't even know. So we'll probably be three and, I mean, not three, four and three come by week. The silver lining of it all was the Ravens lost and the Bengals lost, so... We are still, you know, Bing, the Ravens are 3-3, three and three, Bengals are 2-4, and four, so that's the upside of it. So, but we're, we're probably not going to win next week, so it's all for now, Slayers Nation, so see ya.